Over 450,000 Oklahomans suffer from diabetes. The American Diabetes Association is saying that over 1 million in the state are on the verge of it. Oklahoma has a high number of, of patients who are diabetic. Um, Oklahoma ranks in that top five as well for that being the uh, chronic condition, one of the chronic conditions for Oklahomans. At Morton, nearly 30% of their patients are diabetic. At nearby Crossover Health Services, good proportion. I'm saying 20 percent. And with prices that used to soar over $200 for insured patients and well above that for those who didn't have insurance, this bill could save their lives. A lot of our people here are Medicaid and Medicare, so I hope that that cost reduction applies. Um, and then I have several people that were working really hard to get prior authorization just because they can't afford the medicines that they need. Well, this allows people to actually be able to purchase their insulin because when it's $200 a month, most people can't afford $200 a month, but $30 a month, most people can. Back at Morton Comprehensive Health Services, for years, they've been trying to make insulin more cost-effective for their patients. The majority of the people they see are uninsured, but thanks to a grant, they can completely cover the price tag. It pays for office visit, it pays for um, supplies, labs, um, and then also for the medication. So it's kind of, it's, it's takes care of the entire need of the patient who has diabetes. The new law will take effect on November 1st. James King, News Channel 8.